Hey, man. It's JC400. And we back. Today, Empire, All Rise, Toxic Gang, was down. Today, we're going to talk about the myth of being alpha in marriage. Hey, man. We got a great one today, man. This is a common myth that I've seen in the Red Pill community. I've seen being spoke in public for some odd reason. It's a myth. Fam Empire, it's a myth. You cannot be alpha in Western traditional marriage. There's no way. I made a video in the past. Um, I believe I titled it, How to Be Alpha in Marriage. This is the problem with that, fellas. Once you are married, you have signed yourself to be cuckolded. You have put your masculinity on paper to be taken advantage of. Fam. See, I, I'm going to mention the Fresh and Fit boys again because they're doing something. They're they preaching the gospel, but... They bring their attorneys on the show and their attorneys talk. One is a divorce and family attorney. She she basically gave the game that most people don't give you. There's no way for the man to 100% win in marriage. I'm, I'm going to give my girl a... But Jay-Z I'm going to give her a prenup. And then when I give her a prenup, that's it. That's it. She can't do nothing because that's how I had to bring up. All right, Jack. The divorce attorney literally said she can say she was under duress when she signed the prenup, dog. We know this. But it's older men who want you to be effed up like them so they want to convince you to get married and they try to tell you they have more fun now being married, they wife only smashing them a few times a year. They can't even have hoes. She doing whatever she want. He losing masculinity by the day, but they want to convince you that marriage is the right way. Come on, bro. Western marriage isn't the right way. So then you ask JC400, what's the right way? For the men that want to have one woman in their life, that's the wrong way. You need to realize the more women you deal with, the better gauge you have of quality women. The more women you deal with, the more you get out of that beta mindset of, I only need one woman in my life. Dog. We're not biologically wired to have only one woman. Bro, we can bust multiple times a day. Bro, we can have as many kids as we wanted, bro. It's a reason we can do that. It's a reason why she only makes one egg. It's a reason why she's so selective on the men she deals with. It's a reason why if she got a fat ass and them, them tig old bitties, we looking twice. It's a reason for that. But feminine men want to try to convince you what femininity has convinced them is right. Let's get back to marriage, man. Western marriage is all in the woman's court. When a woman gets married, she wins. Why? Because now you have invested. You have invested everything in her. You gave her a ring. You said she's the one. Men. Why the hell would you do that? We're outnumbered by women anyway, like two billion to one billion. See, but the thing is, you living in scarcity. You living in lack. You, you beating your shit all day. You're not even trying to go out there and find new women. Because I guarantee you, once you find new women and you see that women is choosing, 
when you improve yourself and you start seeing this more out there, I promise on everything I love, you're not going to look at her and say, you're the only one I want. I'll never do that. I'll never do that. Because I know my worth, but if you don't know your worth, you lost. I'm going to tell you how to start. Find your purpose. Find your purpose, bro. Everything else will fall in line. Just do that first. Marriage, man. That's a woman's game. I salute all the women that are married because you won in life. You got... You got limitless security and provisioning from a man. And, and that man has agreed to only want you. You want as a woman if you are married. Then you can divorce him and you can clean his ass. And then, bro, but a marriage is about love. It's not a, bro, women love conditionally, bro. If you ain't have a bag, she ain't marrying you, bro. If you don't have something to offer, she not marrying you, bro. If she don't see potential in you, she's not marrying you, bro. The funny thing is, we're the ones who rule relationships, but we let women convince us to put them into relationships, bro. Hell no. Nah. Value yourself. See, this generation, not this generation, but this society is lacking masculinity. Masculinity is pushing. Masculinity is forcing. Masculinity loves freedom. Masculinity will not subject itself to a feminine way of thinking. Committing to one woman. Bro, you crazy, then? Bro, you crazy, bro. You crazy. Now, shout out to all my Muslim brothers, man, right? They can get their kind of marriage in a mosque. Um, and then they have their own documents, right? Getting married is a beautiful thing if you do it on your terms, bro. Multiple wives. Your own marriage contract, not with the government. That's how you do it. So let's say you are that type of dude, you only want one woman. You get your own marriage document, have your own private little wedding, and in your documents, you make it known, hey, babe, you ain't getting shit if you leave. You ain't getting shit. You wasn't in the gym with me. You ain't getting nothing if you leave. So your best option is to stay. Or you better tell me right now that this ain't what you want to do, and I'm going to go find another one. Alpha men dictate the terms. Alpha men seek freedom. Alpha men control their environments. They control what they can control. Once you take your dumb ass to the court and you get with the US government and you get that marriage license down and you give her that ring and you get married, nigga, you done for. You done for. Anything alpha about you is out the window. And this is the tough, cold, hard truth. We red pill over here, so we keeping it real, man. Peace, love, prosperity. Nine, nine, nine. Hey, man. Roll to a milli. Roll to a billy. It's JC400. And we out.